Join me as a gold member here in YouTube or in Patreon if you want to have access to all my simulations for CompTIA A plus exams. You will find the links in the description of each video. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Dean with another video for CompTIA A plus exams. In this video, we are having a drag and drop simulation about different network types and their characteristics. And after that, we are having a short quiz just to confirm your knowledge or also to practice what you have learned. And if you haven't remembered anything, it will help you remember more easily. My videos are mostly for visual learners. They are very simplified, so they're very easy to understand. It is perfect. They are perfect for beginners who are just started learning about A+. Please consider subscribing if you are studying for A+, and Network+. Plus. Uh, soon I will be starting uploading videos for Network+, Plus, but so far I am doing mostly A+, plus videos. Uh, something else I want to say, I have created Udemy courses for CompTIA A+, with practice exam questions for Core 1 and Core 2. Links are in the description. Also, I have Udemy course with 20 simulations link also is in the description but those simulations you can find them in my channel but only gold members have access to them uh, i want to thank you guys for the support i really appreciate it and let's get started with this simulation so let's start we have drag and drop like i said here we have different uh, network types you need to know for your exam and we have here their characteristics and or their definition so basically we need to drag and drop them to their correct places. So let's start with the first one. First one is interconnect technology devices typically within the range of a single user, which is approximately 10 meters or 33 feet. So what type of network you think is that? And the right answer, the right network is PAN, which stands for Personal Area Network like Bluetooth devices. That's an example of PAN. Okay, let's go to the next one. It mostly covers towns and cities in a maximum 50 kilometer range. All right, guys, so when you hear about towns, cities, you think about metropolitan. So the right answer here is metropolitan area network. Okay, next one group of computers, servers, switches and printers which are located in the same building, such as an office or in a home. It covers a small area. This is the most used area type, uh, area type, the most used uh, network type and it is LAN, stands for local area network. Probably you have this type at home. So let's on to the next one special high-speed network that stores and provides access to the large amount of data of the data it is dedicated network that is used for data storage all right guys here is the key it is used for data storage this is sun which stands for soft uh, for storage area network on to the next one it is a network that spans over a large geographical area, such as country, continent, or even the entire globe. So guys, this is the, the, the largest uh, network type, and it is white, white area network. You have to remember that white, it is bigger than M, than metropolitan. Metropolitan, it is about city, about a town, you know, but one, it is white, it can cover big, big spaces such as country, continent, etc. We have the next one, uh, a virtualized connection that connects multiple devices and network nodes from different lands on into one logical network. And of course, this is virtual local area network, as you can see from the description. And the last one links two or more devices using wireless communication to form a LAN to form a local area network within a limited area such as home, school or office building. So this is basically wireless LAN, wireless local area network. 
Okay, that's it. Your uh, your Wi-Fi at home, it is type of this uh, uh, network, of this wireless communication, wireless local area network. All right, guys. So let's go to the quiz. Let's see. Let's test ourselves what we have remembered. Okay. First one. A client has three locations within city limits that need to be networked. Vendor network requirements for all three locations are a minimum of one gigabit. So that means it's a high speed, it's a speed, it's a fast network, high speed. Which of the following are the types of networks that will most likely be used for internal office and office to office networking? Choose two. So basically we have local area network, we have storage area network, we have metropolitan area network, we have personal, we have a personal area network, wireless local area network, and wide area network. What do you guys think? Which two networks? The first one will be local area network and the second one will be metropolitan. Okay? There is an explanation after the, an after the answer, so we're going to see. So, the client's requirement for networking all three locations within the city limits with a minimum of 1 gigabit bandwidth indicates that they require high-speed connectivity. A local, area con uh, a local area network is a type of network that is confined to a small geographical area, such as a single building or office. It is typically used for internal office networking and is suitable for the client's requirements. A, man a metropolitan area network is a larger network that spans across a metropolitan area, connecting multiple lands. It is typically used by organizations that have multiple offices within a city or town. While a man could be used in this scenario, it may not be necessary as the client only has three locations. Uh, from, you remember that one wide area is bigger than a metropolitan. So, a wide area network is a network that covers a large geographical area such as country or even the world. It is used for long-distance communication between different locations and is suitable for office-to-office -office networking. In this scenario, the client's three locations are within city limits, so a wide area network may not be required. Personal area network is a network used for communication between personal devices, such as smartphones and laptops. It is not suitable for office networking and is not relevant in this scenario. A storage area network is a specialized network used to provide access to storage devices such as disk arrays and tape libraries. It is not used for office networking and is not relevant in this scenario. So guys, as you can see, this explains all our networks that you need to know, the networks you need to know for your CompTIA A plus exam. A wireless local area network is a type of LAN of local area network that uses wireless technology to connect devices to the network. It is suitable for internal office networking, but may not be the best option for office-to-office -office networking as it may not provide the requirement bandwidth and security. Okay, so guys, we have a few more uh, questions. Let's see them. A type of network connecting computers within a small geographical area, such as building or group of buildings, is called... We have local area network, we have personal, we have white, and we have metropolitan. Which one do you think is the right answer? And of course, the right answer is local area network. Next question. A computer network connecting multiple smaller networks over very large geographical areas is referred to as 1. WLAN, LAN, PAN, MAN. <laughs> And the right answer here is wide area network because we have smaller networks over very large geographical area. Next one. The internet is an example of a large public wide area network. True or false? Yep, that's true, guys. A type of limited range computer network used for data transmission among various types of personal devices is known as metropolitan, storage, personal or local area networks. And the right answer, of course, here it is personal area network. 
a computer network connecting multiple local area networks over an area of a city is called Kan, San, Man, Pan. And the right answer here is metropolitan, metropolitan area network because we have multiple lands over area of a city. I think that's the, we have two more questions and we have, we're finishing. A dedicated local network consisting of devices providing data, data access is known as PAS, SDNS, SDN, NAS or SAN. And here we're talking about storage area network. And last one, a type of network consisting of, of computers and peripheral devices that use high frequency radio waves to communicate with each other is referred to as virtual LAN, metropolitan area network LAN or WLAN. And the right answer here is WLAN, which is wireless local area network. All right, guys, that's it. We are we have finished this quiz. We finished this video. Thank you for watching. Excuse me if I made some mistakes. I apologize for that. Uh, every video, every week I'm uploading. Every Saturday I'm, I'm uploading one video. So stay tuned and please leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for the support. And I wish you good luck with your exams. You got it. See you next time and take care.